What is going on guys? Today we are back with the game You Captain. Um we already posted one video showing beginners basically level four and under a good way to get money to start. So next thing we're gonna show is what I think is one of the better bolts in the game. For a reasonable price, it's twenty-five thousand, and it's the Crew Daddy boat. You'll see here in a second. So we're gonna do the basic upgrades. Okay, we want that install. We're gonna and get our net. And it costs 250 to upgrade. So we will upgrade to there. And for that. Storage, we'll add a little more. Gear capacity, I'm not worried about. Engine. Is the Viper engine swap. Oh, I forgot to install that. We'll go ahead and install a GPS even though I really don't use them. Sonar is really good. We don't need thrusters. Oh, we forgot we gotta put fuel in since we filled that up. <clears throat> and this is another great way to make more money quickly. We're gonna fast travel down to here. Looks like I already got a bolt in here, so we are gonna. I do not. So, the reason why I picked this bolt as one of my other favorite ones is if you look up in the top corner, let me grab my pen out here. You can see we're doing almost 30 knots. Yep, that's going to pop up. You'll see it right. We're going to slow down now. But if you look at the very top corner next to Walkie Talkie and the feel, you'll see where it says knots. We're almost up to 30. It's a quick, reliable bolt. No, I did not want that to happen. So we'll go here, we'll put more fuel in. And what we're actually going to do is go to the bottom, drop the nets. And if you look at where it says knots, you can actually see it's actually climbing pretty relatively quick. Yes, I know we got the upgraded engine in there. So by going faster, it means the nets will fill up quicker. Uh, let's go here quick. Right now I am searching for the Northern Red Snappers. I've had a couple other bolts, or one other bolt in the area working on it, as you can see right down there. So 
So let's take our waypoint and we'll just set it there. Now when you get up to the bigger bolts, they're actually way slower. Some go three knots, some go six. So one of the things I actually always recommend is going into the settings and set it to gentle right here. Instead of flat, just do gentle or rough. And you guys can actually ride with the waves. You know, actually, if you're riding the correct direction of them, you will actually gain way more speed than what the boat is meant for, but you still catch a lot. See right there, we already filled up on 200 of them. So we're going to drop back down, go here, go to the map, go back, and you'll see the knots just kick way up, and as soon as the gear hits, it's going to drop back down this whole time you're still pulling in fish which is great and these fish actually sell for anywhere from about five and a half dollars up to almost nine if not a little bit more so as you can see i'm already getting the waves yes it'll take the boat with it but as you can tell i am not going the correct way with the waves because it keeps going down and then it'll go right back up. Now let's say if I turn this way. I gotta find the correct direction here. We're already full, so let's drop the nets back down, fly the boat. I think we got the right way now. It's way easier to do on gentle than rough, because with rough you kind of bounce all over the place. But you can see I'm already up to 22 knots. And it'll go back down a little bit. But it works out when you're fishing like this. Now when you get the bigger bolts, it's a little bit harder, which is perfect for gentle. Because otherwise, you're not going anywhere. As you can tell, I'm going in the wrong direction that it's going. We have a total of 400 fish. So what we're going to do is go here, go back in. I'm going to put it back to gentle. So as you see, it's about ten and a half knots, which is still good. And there the nets come back up. We'll just send them right back down. Go here, go there. And this way we can still keep that speed up 
to catch them faster. This is just a little glitch uh, that I've figured out myself. I don't know how many other people really have. It's just one that I stumbled across. So 546 reds. So we're just going to go here. I want to see what the pricing is on them as of right now. So they're $8.39 a piece. Now I am going to pull out my pen. And I'm actually going to do this quick. Best place that I've found to sell them so far is right here. And then there is a place way over here, which I will show you in a minute here. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll just go ahead and hit save. So way down here in the Florida Keys, this, the Key West is really good. Also for it. And you can see there is red snappers in that area too. <clears throat> so while we're here, let's explain how the fish, crustaceans, shellfish work. So if I wanted to go for scallops, okay, I can hit it and it won't pop up. Not unless I go up over here and you'll see that the circles pop up when I hit scallops. Now, if you click on the image, it'll give you a little description of them. It tells you where they're at, the price that it normally can be. It all does vary on the time and rates of it then right down here it tells you what kind of gear you need so same thing goes for crabs like if you want to go for red king crab you see it doesn't show up but if you click on the I don't know how to pronounce that one so dungness my guess you can see where it is, and it's going to tell you a brief story about it. Click to continue. Average bottom, $4. And it's going to tell you that it needs this kind of trap. Okay. Now for fish, if we click on the red snapper, I'll tell you bottom, average, seventy or $7. Very sm small fish up to 80 pounds per fish. Now if you're using a fishing pole or long line or grill net, it requires crab, which we will get into later on. Now there is some like musky fish. If you look down here by where the boat originally is, you will see down there. Yeah, 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 we don't need our story. So they're small fish, up to 80 pounds six dollars a piece now the only way to get these is by fishing pole and they take clams and crabs which is a nice way to tell you what they need So we are going to go back out of here, go back, we're just going to bring up the gear right now, I'm going to take a minute to wait. Go back into the maps, set a waypoint again behind us. We're going to turn it around. 
and we're going to drop the gear. Go back to the map, go here, put the throttle all the way up so we can get the max knots that we can get. And then it's going to drop. This is why I really like this bolt. Yes, you do not have to have the upgraded engine. It just won't be as fast. It'll still be, I think it was eight or nine knots. With the upgrade, you get upwards of 12 up. So this is what I call fast netting. It's a fast bolt. It fills up quickly. We already got 659 fish out of almost 3,000. So now let's go up to the top corner where you see where I've been hitting the map button. You have different camera views. You can do, I usually do the follow cam. And then this one right here that looks like a light bulb is the lights. So we'll go here. Now on the smaller bolts, they have just the one in the front. The bigger bolts, they will actually have them up on top. Oh, or that came up, so we'll drop that back down. And then you do have the hook here, which is what I've been using to pick the net or dredge. Or if you're doing crab pots, they have the crab pots that will show up down there. The fishing pole, you can actually pick up a fishing pole, buy a fishing pole for like the muskies, the northerns, the walleyes, tuna, etc. And then the thrusters, which we were talking about earlier, which is the um, propeller up there. That will actually basically, if I need to come up to the dock here, and let's say I'm coming in at a bad angle, it will let me move my bolt left to right without moving it forward. Or if I need to angle it to get through a tight space, I can move just the front or just the back while sitting still. Which I don't care for, it, to be honest. Oh, that came back up. Now if we click on the fishing pole, you'll see here that you can set it up. We're not going to get into fishing poles today. So we're going to go up to our hook. And we'll drop it for the bottom. So throttle, go here, go there. Put that back up. Do the little speed thing. Okay, puts us right where we should be. So as you see, we have over a thousand fish here. So the way it works is storage is how much room you have on the boat. Fish quota is your goal that you're trying to get. The same with crustacean and shellfish. Now a lot of people would think that you would need the dredge to actually get shrimp for shellfish. No, you do not. You actually just need a net for it <clears throat> so we are back we're gonna pick the lines up put that in reverse try not to crash too hard perfect now we're gonna tap here okay it looks like they both are up in price so we go to sell as you can tell I'm a higher level, so it takes more. But we walked away with almost $10,000 in, what, 10 minutes? Also got 613 XP. So one thing you can always do is hit the plus sign, go here to chest. And then about every seven hours, I believe it is, you'll have a new chest. 
we got 25,000 or 2,500 on that plus one gold bar. Big whoop to do. But for people who are starting out, that 2,500 could be fuel money that they're low on or to fix their haul. Uh, one thing I recommend is stay away from the blue chips. Um, if you're going to get gold, get the gold, spend it wisely. We'll go here. We use 10%, that's 40 bucks. We have 99%. We only got through 1% of haul damage, which is 46. Which is not bad. Now, if you want, you can reset your quota before that seven hour period. Best thing I would recommend is once you start getting the money, start maxing it out for what you're going after. So if you're going after fish, put it up there for fish. Okay, so we'll do the four. You know, how about we do 4,000 for that, fuel capacity, we'll put that all the way up. Now if you're doing crab pots, stuff like that, then you want to do your gear capacity. But since we're not doing crabs, we'll just leave that there. One other thing I do want to show you here quick is we are going to fast travel down to here. And when you fast travel, it takes, I think it was 2.5% more than what your fuel is. So we'll go here. We'll just set a waypoint. So I got a direction. We'll take our nets, drop them down quick. Pick up our speed. We're just going to fill this up quick here. Shouldn't take that long. There's actually a couple fish and shrimp that is in this area where I went. Plus with the red snappers. So I'm actually going to bring it up here and see what we got. So as you can tell, there's red snappers. Uh, black drum, they don't pay well. I think I've seen it like two, maybe three bucks at most. So if you click on the picture while you're in the fish quota area, you can select to put that fish back in the ocean. But as you can tell, I got shrimp. So if we go here. So we'll just go sell the 40 fish that we have, or the 20 fish and the shrimp. Shrimps are actually up too. Okay, so a total of 40 got us $244.65 plus 20 XP. That is going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like subscribe we're hopefully going to update more content on here until next time